Hey guys, welcome back to my channel called How To. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2023 in advance. Today, uh, I will be reviewing a software from AMI Backup called AMI Backupper, and that is of professional edition. Okay, so I am right now in the AMI homepage. I already do have added the link in the description below and once you like you know uh, land over this page right if you want to download the software uh, navigate to windows backup right and you can see like you know there are a couple of options for personal use you have in standard professional uh, for business like you know so and so forth right so today i'm gonna cover with the AMI back for professional one right so just click on this and right so uh, they the current version that they do have is 7.1.2 right well and if you want to download it uh right and if you want to buy it right as per your feasibility uh, i like you know you can just give it a try right uh just click on this tab uh try it for free and if you like the feature you can probably go come here back and like you know buy now and and, and uh choose a plan feasible for you right and just download the software, try it for free, right? And it, it will start downloading, okay? Once it will be downloaded, right? You just need to install it as I have already done this. So I'm not going to repeat this process, okay? So I have already downloaded the software, installed it, okay? Once it will get installed on your machine, uh, right? So it will be like this, okay? You'll see this beautiful, clean, uh, neat and clean, uh, home page or, or, the, or the dashboard right uh, of AMI backup okay and once you will uh, probably you uh, over the bottom or over the, over the top right you'll, you'll see uh for subscriptions okay and you just need to fill the license key and you just need to subscribe it okay for the for, for the professional one okay or you can just click on the login and like you know uh if you have an account with the EMA even you can get one tb of cloud storage for free right you just need to sign it up and and give it a try. So, uh, what features that AMI Backup Professional tool holds? Okay, uh, even I have worked on a lot of other uh, backup solutions from a couple of different vendors, right? And when I landed on this AMI Backup, I found it quite interesting. Trust me, I mean, it is giving us a very good, uh, like, you know, uh, clean, easy to use uh, dashboard where, like, you know, you can. Uh, back up your data if you are if, if you are data centric like if your data is really critical for you right and uh if you want to make sure like you know you don't lose it and you just want to make uh frequent you just want to back up your data frequently right over the physical machine or external drive or over the cloud then this this is the best tool that like you know you can you can check it out okay so uh, then you have a couple of options like a couple of fields like home backup sync restore clone and tool right if you if i click on new backup ultimately i'll be landing on the second tab right if i if i if i click on new sync again i'll be landing on the third tab okay so i'll start from backup so under the backup they do have a couple of different options called system backup disk backup partition backup file backup and the cloud backup okay so as the name state right uh so system backup right what does it mean right it will it will backup uh your system system uh meaning by the by default wherein your operating system will be installed right it, it will be uh, uh, automatically picking up those respective fields that drive and you just need to like you know select select uh destination directory or path where you want to store this uh backup okay i just need to store you just need to choose right and even for choosing they have <clears throat> given us uh, two different options right select the local path or add uh add server nas device right if you if you have nas device in in, in, in your premise right or uh, external storage device oh. right uh having an ip address and so on and so forth right you can just give oh. the nas path or if you have a, if you want to take a backup on an external drive right click on the local path and attach your external hard drive or like you know what whatever you want like if you have an external hard disk or like a space or in any separate drive right uh like you can just uh pick it up and for example my password this is my external hard drive right if i want to store my backup over here right i'll just click i'll just select it and then i'll just click on open okay 
and uh, I'll, 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 I'll start uh, my backing up okay now even for backing up uh, like you know uh, here may I have a given a very beautiful thing that is like you know you can schedule a backup okay uh, here's an option if you click on schedule backup over here right uh, <clears throat> uh, if you'll enable this uh, tab uh, right if you want to take a backup like daily or weekly monthly or like you know however you want right so there's an options right daily weekly and where you want, like at what time you want to trigger the backup right the date the time right and you want to run it every day at what time right once every day at this time okay run once or like you know want to run once on a day time or you want to run on an interval time at what time right at what at, at finish time right at, at every hour or two hour or three hour right as per your need right you can just take up your backup okay uh so not only for system backup definitely won't be like you know like not only for system but for other other as well so this, this is an option so where like you know you can uh check it out okay and once the backup is completed like you know you want to shut down your your machine or you want to restart or you want to hibernate or sleep like so a pretty cool options right uh that that you can like you know uh check it out right once the backup is completed right uh what you want to do so all these options are here okay so uh first is schedule backup now even they have a scheme of like you know taking a backup okay if you click on backup scheme right uh, so what method you want to prefer for taking up your backup right either you want to go for incremental backup or full backup okay or or a differential backup right as per your need you can you can you can choose the options right and uh you can just enable this tab and uh like you know if you want to like you know clean up your backup once it is uh, like you know like definitely if you'll be taking a full backup right or incremental backup right uh, definitely at what time at, at one time are you gonna like you know uh your storage will be uh filling up right so if you want to clean up uh like you know ultra backup right uh, as per your needs right even even they do have a cleanup method method right you can enable an automatic backup cleanup wherein like you know you can you, you can select the options of, of a cleanup method all day monthly by time quantity right as per your need right and what sort of set of data you want to keep uh keep right if, if like one set of data two or as again as per your need right you just want to uh, select these fields and you just need to click on okay okay so even uh they do have in backup backup schemes of taking for for scheduling a backup okay so backup scheme is done right uh backup scheme is getting your backup i think you're you know this feature now so options right uh i think even they have them some command line over here i have i'm not sure like you know, i haven't used this so far but definitely you can uh give it a try but i haven't taken this so far what I have, I, I, I'm, I'm well aware of this getting a backup and backup scheme that that really fulfilled my need so far. Okay, so again, uh, going on the backup part, system backup is done. Disk backup is like, you know, if you want to uh, backup your disk, right? Uh, for example, by default, I do have a disk zero, right? If I want to backup my entire disk, I just need to select the disk, click on add, right? And uh, in the destination, like, you know, where you want to uh, take a backup, right? So, for example, again, NAS or an external hard drive, or you know, you like, uh, and just just choose it. For example, I right, and start a backup. Okay. So, partition backup. This is even a very cool feature that I like. You know, like like rather than taking an entire backup of my whole drive, right? I just if I, if, if like you know my if my data are on on a D drive or an E drive, and I want to make sure like you know those data are being backed up, right? So I'll just click on D drive or D, D volume or for example E or D or E like you no know, whatsoever like you want. Uh, so it just uh, gives you and like you know picking up picking up your desired volume for checking up and backup. Just click on T and click on Add and the destination path where you want to take a backup again like you know as per your preference. You can schedule, you can backup right, and there is a backup scheme and you can you, you can you can even like you know schedule a backup right uh, and you just go somewhere out and once you'll be back like you know your data will be completed right your backup will be completed okay 
Now, the third option would be file backup, right? If you want to or make sure like, you know, your specific files and folders are, are, are need to be like, you know, backed up. So this is the option where you can land on, again, the same process, right? And yes, the most beautiful one, like, you know, if you want to make sure like, you know, you want to take your backup over the cloud, right? So click on the cloud backup, right? Uh, sign up with AMA Cloud, user, user credentials, and login, right? And then you can do it, right? Over here as well, you can just schedule the backup, okay? Now, sync. So they do have a basic sync, real-time sync, mirror sync, and two-way sync, right? I'm not sure if you have worked on other tools uh, so far or not, but yes, I'm like, even this tool have given this very uh, beautiful, like the tool to sync your data, right? For example, if I click on basic sync, right? Uh, for example, a download, right? I, I just download a lot of things on, on my download. Click on open, right? And if I quickly, like, you know, I want to sync, like, for example, I am taking a backup on my external hard drive and I just want to sync all those downloads that I have done from this morning, right? I'll just click on this download and the destination file name and start sync, okay? And also, as I said, like, you can even schedule a sync. Same real-time sync, you can, like, you know, uh, sync changed files from source directory to the destination directory in real time. If there is any sort of, like, you know, uh, changes that have been taken so far from your source to destination file, right, uh, from, 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 from a backup perspective, uh, if you click on real-time sync, you can just, like, you know, add a folder again, like, you know, like, so on and so forth, like, same process, right? It will just make sure, like, you know, uh, data and, like, you know, uh, your backup, or like you know, data are being real time synced. Okay, mirror sync. It does. It does means a replica. Okay, like for for example, uh, like always get the files in the destination directory exactly the same as in, as in source directory, right? The way you have to store all the files in folder on a, on a source directory. Uh, in that way, like you know, it will make sure like you know your destination directory are having those files in folder, folder exactly uh, that you have kept in in your source directory. Okay, so it's called mirror sync. sync. Uh, two way sync, right? I'm like, what does it mean? Uh, if you have made any sort of changes either on source or destination directory, right? It will make sure, like, you know, that those that changes will be replicated, uh, uh, vice versa. Okay, it, it, it will be synced. Okay, two way sync. Now, if you go and restore, if you have any sort of like an image that you have already taken a backup of, right? If you want to restore the image, right? You just need to click on restore, click on image, and choose a particular image, right? Or, or like wherever you have stored uh, that backup, and you can just click on open and restore, okay? If you want to make me a detailed videos on all these things, do let me know on the comment section below. I'll try to like, you know, cover in depth uh, on, on, on a real life scenario, okay? But yeah, for a reference point, yeah, definitely you can restore. Now, the most beautiful point of this professional version is clone path, right? Wherein you can exactly clone a system, right? For example, if you have a machine uh, that is old, like that, that is uh, quite old, and like you know, you, you just uh, don't want to you know, format your uh, like, you know, uh, for example, you just don't want to, like, you know, take a burden of formatting uh, uh, or, like, moving a data to your uh, uh, newer machine or newer hard disk, right? Uh, you just need to install a new new OS on a new machine and so on and so forth, right? If you don't want to take that burden, if you want to directly clone your system drive on a new, on a new hard disk, right? Or, 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 or if you are planning to, like, you know, uh, taking... Uh, uh, removing your old uh, uh, SDD and like you know uh, moving forward for SSD, right? Uh, so this this thing will really help you out. Okay, so like if you want to clone your older data, like you know older or, or data from your older machine to your newer machine or newer drive, right? You can just click on System Clone, okay, and click select a disk uh, as a new location for the system, right? So for example. Uh, see, right, if you want, uh, for example, I, I just want to uh, disk clone, right, uh, if I click on C, D, E, whatsoever, right, it will even give you a prompt, right, uh, note, we just suggest you to clone a system partition first, right, and so on and so forth, okay, so if you want to, if you are click on, click on, clicking on C, if you're doing a mistake, C, it will just prompt you out, how, like, you know, unable to clone a, clone a current system partition, please use other location, right? So what does it mean? If you're cloning, what does cloning mean? If you want to clone your 
entire data or, or a partition from a old uh, or from existing or from current um, disk to a new disk then definitely like you know what you need to do uh, attach your external hard drive or, or a new ssd right and if you want to clone c drive okay just click on uh, your external passport or external hard drive or ssd and click on next and it will it will it will like you know uh, it, it will uh, help you out to clone your disk okay this is called system clone automatically it will clone your system disk only right not not, not other one okay now if you want to disk if you want to clone your disk right if you want to clone your entire disk right what do you need to do uh, select select the disk you want to clone for example I, I just want to clone this disk right I'll click on next right and the destination disk you want to clone uh, I, I this is my external hard drive that I want my disk to be cloned on right to be copied on right if I click on next be very cautious on this part right if you click on next see after the operation the existing partition from the destination disk will be overwritten or the formatted okay see like if i'll click on next again like you know just make sure like you know that external drive would be empty or or, or like you know the data that you are carrying on on your external hard drive right that need to be backed up first only only then only like you know uh, perform this cloning elsewise it will just format this uh, external hard drive and your data will be lost okay so it will format that hard drive first and then it will it will do the cloning okay so the partition clone even the same rather than taking an entire uh, disk backup right I, I just want to clone my particular d or e okay i'll just select a particular d and click on next right and where you want to clone i'll just click on my external hard drive right and then you can just clone exactly the like you know like your data will be copied exactly the, the way you have kept over here right so it will clone your d drive to your external hard drive okay so this is about cloning right so system clone i have covered right what does system clone mean okay uh you can uh yeah system clone is done this clone is also covered so partition clone is also covered so these are these these are trust me like these are the most beautiful and like you know handful tool that you will be coming across like you know if you on like definitely on like everyone should be holding the software and like if you want you if your data are like really critical and if you are in such case where you want to clone the data from an existing to a newer one right so this is the tool you can check it out okay so apart from this they even do provide a couple of other tools for for like you know creating a bootable media for checking uh, i i'm even running in windows 10 and if you want to upgrade your windows 10 to windows 11 right uh, from this tool even you can check it out right uh, they do have a windows 11 upgrade checker right you can view the logs you can input and export configurations check image if you want to wipe out your disk which is something i won't definitely do i won't be doing it until unless i i i i, I do have such requirement right so yeah, yeah. so to pretty much like you know other tools then they are they are providing providing to us right so even they have some free tools uh like remote desktop right if you want to connect uh to your remote system right you can just check this out it's, it's like uh uh yes remote remote desktop right and even if you want to uh, f uh back up your iphone and transfer data to your iphone right you can just click on this phone tool and free download you can just download it and yeah you can check this out for taking a backup and transfer for your iphone as well for disk partitions right export this option for cloud backup and data recovery right so there are tools for you you can just uh give it a try uh well yeah i think this is all about aomi backupper professional version right so do let me know if you find this tool very helpful and i must suggest you to give it a try and yes they are offering a flat 80 percent discount right now as in christmas eve so guys try this software out uh very 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 indeed uh very good software to have so yeah i think we are good to close this review i hope we have covered everything so far and thank you so much for watching uh once again happy new year and see you until next time take care bye bye